Kate, Princess of Wales and Prince William have chosen to slash the number of royal patronages they hold in order to pay more attention to the ones closest to their hearts, however one royal expert has questioned whether this approach is sustainable. Both have their own special areas of interest, with Kate focusing on mental health, children's early development, bullying and addiction, whereas William is taking the lead on issues of environmental activism and conservation. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. In each of their areas Kate and William have launched big long-term projects designed to make an impactful difference, such as William's Earthshot Prize and Kate's Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood. Other members of the royal family have a greater number of patronages across a wider range of charitable areas. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond asked whether the Prince and Princess of Wales could get away with having fewer patronages due to their position as senior royals. She told OK! Magazine, I think Catherine and William have taken this view which they may not be able to stick to which is to have far fewer patronages and make a difference in the ones that they do support. For Catherine we're talking about mental health, early learning bullying and addiction, so I don't know if she'll be able to carry that forward because there is such a demand for royal patronages and as future queen, she is going to be in huge demand. One of the Prince of Wallace's biggest areas of interest is the environment, leading him to launch the Earthshot Prize in October 2020, an annual awards ceremony centered around five environmental goals. Each of these goals, known as Earthshots, will improve our chances of fighting serious climate change if they are achieved by 2030. The first ceremony was held in London, the second was held in Boston in Massachusetts and the third will take place later this year in Singapore. Former CEO of the Royal Foundation Jason Knauf said of Prince William's goal, the challenge the Prince, said himself was what is the maximum positive personal contribution I can make in the next 10 years in the fight against climate change? What am I going to do in the next decade that means I can look my children in the eye and say that I did my bit? Every aspect of the prize bears the stamp of his contribution. Perhaps Kate's most impressive work has been done in the field of early years development, with her launching the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood in June 2022. Don't miss! King Charles and Camilla set for second coronation despite financial controversy, latest, Charlotte bears striking likeness to the late Queen with her determined look, insight. Gate steals the limelight with the king's blessing, an expert claims, expert, as part of her work, Gate set up her successful Big Five survey in order to help people understand more about a child's first five years. This year she also launched her Shaping Us campaign, with the aim of raising awareness of the critical importance of early childhood in shaping the adults we become. On Thursday this week, Kate carried out two engagements in London linked to this work as she highlighted the importance of the family structure for children who cannot be looked after by their birth parents. She visited the Foundling Museum to meet with people who have lived experience of the care system before going to speak to kinship carers, those who raise their grandchildren, nieces and nephews, younger brothers and sisters or even the children of close friends. Melting